Todd, my final question for you is, what three specific tips you can give to job seekers in terms of elevating their job search? Elevating their job search. Um, you know, I would say one of the first things that I would always do is search a business online. Like the job might look really good, but uh, actually go and look at the culture of the business first. Mm -hmm. That's something that I find very important. Um, is it match up to the type of person that you are? So a lot of us will just take jobs or we did in the past, right? We would take jobs um, for just the money um, and the culture wasn't there and we would be paid well, but we would be unhappy. Mm -hmm. um, and I truly believe that a lot of it is almost reversed now that we, that brands are actually trying to focus more on employee happiness than they are about the actual funds. Most of the time you can find a job that, that gives you both, but I would say be patient with, with what you choose. I know it's, that's a difficult thing to hear obviously because people are like, do we need money? And that's where one of the things that I, my opinions on money differ from a lot of the other people that may follow this, um, this Instagram or this podcast is that I believe money is extremely important. Um, I, I don't understand when people say, you know, happiness over money, things of that nature. I mean, I, I can tell you for a fact that when I have money, I'm happier. I don't know why people keep saying like, you know, you don't need money to be happy because it, it 100% creates happiness within your life because you can do things that make you happy when you have money. It's just, it's just a fact. Um, but as, as far as a job seeker, I would say LinkedIn, again, going back to LinkedIn, um, as a tip, I would say be very, very, very active on LinkedIn. And I think that will actually garner more opportunities for you than actually just jumping on like Indeed mm -hmm. and places like that. I think that is, um, I think that's, it's always our first thing, right? Like we lose our job or we're looking for a job. We immediately go to LinkedIn. We immediately go to Monster, we, you know, or a uh, zip recruiter. You go to these different places and first you could have just gone to LinkedIn and mm -hmm. just literally put out a post. And this is where the importance of an audience comes to, comes to play is, Hey, I'm looking for a job. This is what I'm looking for. This is the type of culture I'm looking for. What do you guys think? Next thing you know, boom, 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 boom. And you found the job, exact job that you want. So I think the power is back in not, it's out of the hands of the recruiting sites and it's more now in the hands of the people that are actually looking for the job. We have the ability to do that now, which I think is important. Um, the second tip I would say um, is really invest in your own personal brand. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is this. Um, if, if, I, if my agency were to blow up tomorrow and I wasn't able to get it, I was gone, right? All my opportunities are gone. I, I believe because of the brand that I've created for myself that I'm a 100% asset to any other business that would grab me up, right? So another marketing company, if another agency were to say, oh shit, like Todd is available now, like we could hire him. My belief is that there would be agencies lined up saying, we, we, let's get him, right? Yeah. So I believe that that would be true. So I believe that your personal brand has got to be the forefront of everything. And if you work for somebody who, who allows you to do that, mm -hmm. I would make that one of the first things that I would say to them when interviewing, be like, understand that I have my own brand as well. Yeah. It, 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 won't, it won't bust through the corporate veil, but it's something that is important to me um, and it add, adds value to value. me. Sure. Um, yeah. The third and last thing that I would say is as an, if you're in the digital marketing space and it's something that you want to pursue, here's, here's my recommendation to you. And this is you wanting to get into the digital marketing space. You want to go work for an agency or you want to start your own. Don't go to college. Leave high school. Go onto Facebook and go to Facebook Blueprint and get Facebook Blueprint certified, full mm -hmm. certification, then go to Google and get full Google certification to run ads, to do absolutely everything, and then apply to a job in the marketing industry mm -hmm. and walk in there and say, Mr. Bill, Miss Mary, I, I don't have a college degree. However, I am Facebook Blueprint certified and Google Ads certified, Google Analytics certified, I think you might see more value in me. If you were to walk into my agency, one with a college degree from Harvard in marketing, and one with one that's Facebook Blueprint certified and Google Ads certified, I'm taking that person. Yeah. It's a fact. Mm. So at the end of the day, I would put, 
I would make that your own personal college because I believe moving forward that that is going to hold a hell of a lot more weight than a college degree in marketing because marketing, as you know, changes on a weekly basis. So whatever you're learning in college, by the time you graduate, if you took that class in your sophomore year, by the time you graduate, none of that stuff even matters anymore. It can't even be applied. Yeah, I agree. And again, thank you for those three tips. And with that thought, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask you this question, which I believe it's very valuable for job support or for anyone, even for employers. And for the audience watching, if you have any other extra tips that will be helpful for job seekers, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another great interview I'm preparing for you. And Todd, again, thank you very much and have a great day. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.